Today on Talk About Games, we will be discussing Unruly Heroes. This video is sponsored by Magic Design Studios. I want to just throw this out right off the bat. I like this game a lot. I, I did like what, it a lot. You liked it? Okay. Yeah, I did like it a lot. I mean, I had played um, Magic Design Studios, a lot of uh, former Ubisoft developers. Very familiar with like colorful characters and platforming gameplay and things like that. And you know, for a early effort for a studio, it was really cool. I enjoyed it. I like not an early effort for that team though. Not for that team, but so, for a new studio. For a new you know, studio, yeah. Being on their own. First thing I noticed about this game was uh, the art and the color design. It's like the first striking things. When you start the game, there is a really awesome animated intro. And you know, a lot of times I'll skip that kind of stuff, but the animation was actually so cool. Uh, so a lot of it looked like it may be traditionally animated. And I was like, wow, this animation like almost reminds me of like a 80s cartoon intro or something like that. I really, right. I really enjoyed it. But then the actual game starts. It ha the game has a very like painterly style to it. It's very colorful. That was immediately one thing that drew me in. The one thing I really liked about it is there's this awesome Eastern style. It's based on a classical Chinese uh, book called Journey to the West. Mm -hmm. And you can see that in the characters. You can see that in the art design. You can see that in almost everything. And it, it's really cool. You have this like international thing where it's a French studio making a game based on Chinese history. And I can be incorrect, but I believe Dragon Ball Z is also based on that story. I've, I've heard that before. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, that's cool. Um, so, I mean, the, the art design is obviously unique. It's very, very Chinese, which mm -hmm. is cool. You have the four characters, which, you know, Wukong, who is the, the monkey with the, with okay. the staff. To me, I, when know? I first started on it, he had the, the red flaming hair. Yeah. I thought it was like lion -O. Oh well, yeah, you know. Uh, when you were playing through, did you get a chance to spend the coins to get the different skins at all? Yes, I yeah, I did for a couple of them. I made the uh, wizard San Sanzang, I believe the name is. Mm. I turned uh, her blue because I was thinking the four. I, I, I was thinking the characters. It just yeah. popped in my head because there's four characters in Dracula's Curse. I wanted it to be kind of like Sypha oh, because, yeah. because, uh, because she's like the wizard character and I was like, ah, oh, make it a little like that. Right. Yeah, so I believe you need, is that you need to get the coins the as coins, you're going The through? coins in the level, the, the musical instruments, the violin looking things, mm -hmm. they give you like the health and the, the power mm -hmm. for the special moves back. But the coins you collect, I think there's like a hundred in each level. Yeah. And then that lets you buy the skin. Some of the people, because I was streaming it in my chat, were saying like, oh, is the game too easy? And I'm like, it's the first like five minutes yeah. of the game. By the time I got to her, I was it's a game. I was being challenged, and which is good. Yeah. And also, that's like the first world. I don't know exactly how long the game is, but um, I would imagine there's you know a lot more to it. Right. So um, it, the point that I got to was challenging. Yeah, I, and I was like, when I was playing it, um, I was shocked it was a three-phase fight. This is the first oh, yeah. world boss. That's like the end of Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, something. I'm like, yeah. like after I after I got to the point where the bridge, like when I got to the third phase where the branches go sideways, mm -hmm. I was I was like, how long is this going to go on for? A little bit later in in the first world, they give you another. Uh, it seems like a lot of the things that you can yeah. do they show you early on, but then a little bit later they give you like the dash ability. Yeah, and. Um, that helps you get up there. That helps you get up. I, I was having a little trouble at first with that because I was kind of like trying to get up those yeah. branches. I was like diagonally going. Yeah. But you have to like dart straight up because I kept dying over and over. And once I knew that, I was like, oh, okay, now I can do that. And then I beat her. Yeah. yeah. Let, let's talk about the characters a little bit. Yeah. Um, because I actually wasn't a fan of Kihong until that fight. Yes. I was just gonna say that, yeah, right? Because once I got up top, I found you yeah. know that the trees you gotta bounce between yeah, to get yeah. up there. Um, I found for whatever reason I had an easier time. I don't know why getting up those trees. And then when I got up there, I felt like he was kicking her ass more yeah. than the other people were. Yeah. And um, also in that fight, the uh, the characters that can double jump, which are I think the, like the Wukong and the Sand Monk. When her face is like at in the middle, but her face is like a little bit higher, and because she's going like up and down, you can double jump and get hits in you get before two those sets trees of hits. popped up. Where yeah. if you're the the pig guy uh, yeah. uh, or the other one, they can't do the double jump, so you can't well, reach it. Well, that's what I figured out with Kihong. If you like most games, you hold down jump to jump higher, and this game is no different. 
but it with him, you can really hold it down. Mm -hmm. Each one of the characters has their own attack. I just thought like the way those attacks were, I would always build, was only always building them up. And my favorite was the Sand Monks because he can turn into like a giant version of himself. It's yeah. almost like Mumra turning into Mumra the Ever Living. And then right. he's like boom, 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 boom. And I was like, that was fun. Um, Sand Monk reminded me of um, two characters. Mm -hmm. With his blue skin, he reminded me of Kamari from Final Fantasy X. Mm -hmm. And he reminds me of one of the characters. I, I haven't really played a bunch of like the, uh, what is it, Seiken Detsetsu 3, which is the Secret of Mana mm -hmm. sequel. I haven't played that. But I played it a little bit as a kid, and there's one guy who's like a werewolf type guy mm -hmm. that, again, and I haven't gotten that really far in that game because I was playing it like as a kid on yeah. a rum with a patch and like <laughs> yeah. a million things, but he looks kind of like him too. I thought he looked like Ganon because of the, the orange yeah. beard. So yeah. I, I was thinking about, as I was playing through the single player, I was really thinking about the fact that this game has uh, up to four player co-op mode. And I was thinking about like, as you're doing the puzzles, yeah, it's like, uh, oh, well, how would these abilities combine together? Because mm -hmm. while each character has unique attacks and jumps, they also interact with these with these uh, statues differently. Like with um, Wukong, when he uh, goes up to one of his statues, he summons a, a long staff across the environment. Mm -hmm. And in one part, you use it to block arrows. In another part, you use it as a platform. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about the different abilities interacting together and that's why I thought it was cool the game has co-op. And then in the third or fourth level, you started to do compound abilities mm -hmm. because uh, Kihong has like the Mario World ability where Mario like blows up. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So it turn, turns into like a balloon. Yeah, yeah the balloon Mario ability. Uh, Sanzang, uh, I had made the reference that it was kind of like Puzzle Bobble. Oh, yeah. Or bust a move where um, this sort of circle appears, and then you can like shoot an arrow, or you can shoot yeah. her like uh, orb or whatever it is. Yeah. But um, and then the and then the orb bounces off the walls and everything. And I was like, oh, bubble bobble, or uh, you know, puzzle bobble. But I mean, there's a lot there in the characters, and when you started doing the compound things, because you had to get the set, you had to get the bridge, and the bridge goes away if you attack. And then you had to get Kihong underneath it so he could float up and do a thing. And I'm like, this is this is cool. You have a lot of life for this type of game because you have four characters that all have their own life bars. And then if they die, it does like the new Super Mario Brothers Wii thing. They have like the soul of them floating and you could pop it open. And you know what was back. pissing me off with that? Like some of the things, like in that boss fight, like the the bubble would be at the top yeah, of the and screen. you can't get to and it. And I'm just like, when's it coming down? When's it yeah. coming down or whatever? What do you think of the possessions? That was the best part for me. But the only one I had done was uh, turning into the wolf. There were there was a lot of back and forth between being the the wolf and then you could go back to your regular characters. You know what's funny? What? When I played it, did you were you just I exact opposite. I was the wolf the whole time. Okay, and then. I die. I like lost him. I like fell in a pit or mm. something. And then my guy came back and I was like, oh wow, I could change between them. Oh yeah. So I fought all those dudes as the wolf. I never switched back. Okay. I, I, I did a lot of it as the wolf, but I was, I was switching back because what I found was like some of the, uh, some of your characters were like a little better than the wolf. So I was kind of switching between them more. Yeah. But the thing I liked about it the most, and maybe the thing I liked about the game the most in general was during that part where in the background- That was awesome. There is another, yeah. there is, was another wolf and you would howl and then that wolf would interact with you and he's walking along with you in the background and you would do certain actions to make him do certain actions. Off the top of my head, I can't think of a game that I've seen do that before. And I'm always saying what I'm looking for more than anything is games to come up with new gameplay mechanics that I have not seen before. I yeah. see so many games like, oh, there's the Mega Man blocks coming up again. Oh, here's, here's this and that. Um, that I've seen before and not to say that there's not stuff in this game that you know it, like you're saying with the bubble going around It's kind of like new Super Mario, but um, Whenever I see a new a new uh, mechanic like that and like a, something new I'm always like good like that's right. what, That's what games need more than anything. I was like this is a puzzle game It's 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 not a fighting game and then I fought the boss where he does like the triple slashes mm -hmm. You know he and then he charges oh that guy and yeah. stuff like that I was having a hard time jumping over and him. I was yeah. dodging you could just dodge through him. Oh 
you're like the roll. Yeah, yeah. You, you just roll through. Them. I didn't know. And I was doing like the hit, hit, hit. He would wind up. I'd roll. Yeah. Hit, hit, hit. I'd roll, and then he would do the charge, and I'd have to like roll all the okay. way across. That was cool because it was a combat boss. Right. After they had done so much puzzly stuff, they went back to the combat. Yeah. So it, it goes back and forth. Yeah. yeah. If I didn't get to play the PvP, the like, like uh, versus yeah, I didn't mode. Get to do that I didn't get to yeah. do it, but. It seems like it would be cool. Um, they say there's four like Smash Brothers like stages, and there's one where it's like a score attack where you're going against each other. Okay. So I mean, we probably should go back and check those yeah. out. But it seems like the game offers a lot. Um, like really, like there's definitely a lot of replayability. Even like on the first stage, I didn't do all the things that there was to do on the first stage with getting all those coins. Honestly, that seemed like pretty difficult. So like, you know, anybody to say like, oh, like it wasn't difficult or enough, even on the first stage, yeah. you gotta get all those coins. That's like not easy. Yeah, so I played through the end of the first world. Yeah. Um, but what's interesting is if you get to the third world, like it, it's the underworld and it's it's different. Yeah. There's different characters and I stuff. I didn't get to that, yeah. So I guess this game is available on Xbox One, PS4, Nintendo Switch, PC. So it's like you, you can get it on everything. It's on everything. Good. It came out today when we filmed this. Yeah. So this, this is a recommend from me. Again, when I was streaming it, Everybody in the chat was like, this is cool, I wanna play this. Yeah. So, I mean, it seems obvious if you see the gameplay footage, it's like, you, you can just tell this is a good game. And by us going through and playing it, it's a good it's a good game. Yeah, I think I think it's I think it's a really good game. I was super happy, like pleasantly surprised to play it. Um, I, I think that you should definitely check it out because it's coming from a small studio. They have big plans about doing not only games, but also animation and stuff. Oh. And you said you like the animation. It, yeah, in that so, intro that I saw, yeah. I yeah. don't know if there's more like later in the game, but, but yeah. yeah. So basically how this worked was, you know, they had, I guess, asked us to play it. I checked it out because of that, and I was like, oh, this is something I actually would want to play because it's a platformer. I right. like that kind of, that's yeah. the kind of stuff I play anyway, and it's colorful, and I like color. It met all the criteria of right. things that I like. Yeah. Um, but you never know until you actually play it because it could still be crap. Um, and then I played it, and I was like, okay, this is this is actually good. So I would. it's a recommend from me. Is, is I, It's definitely a recommend for me. Okay. I want to play it. I want to do the co-op. It looks cool. 